welcome to today's show. This is the Virtuous Woman Show and thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host Sheila Juma and as always I'd like to invite you to grab your neighbor, grab your friend, grab your sister and have them watch this show with you. It's going to be a very interesting and insightful show and you have you you want to stay tuned for this one. You don't want to miss it. We will be talking about first time mothers we have mothers who are young mothers first time mothers and we're going to talk about the challenges that they face what kind of things that do they need to do as a first time mom how do you even deal with a first time mom anxiety and so we have a guest on set with us today who is a first time mom she has a beautiful young boy and she'll be telling us her story and we'll be discussing this topic with her her name is June Dungo, Karibu sana. Thank you, Sheila. We're so glad to have you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. So I would like you to look at that camera and tell us who you are, what you do. Well, thank you. Um, my name is June Ndongo, as Sheila has introduced me. I am, um, I am a born again Christian. Um, I'm a wife uh, and a mother to one handsome boy. I'm also an accountant professionally and an entrepreneur on the side. Basically, that's who I am. Wonderful. <laughs> a, a woman of many trades. Yes. Accounting, entrepreneurship, a mother, a wife. Your, place, your plate must be full. It is. It is. I thank God. I know. I'm grateful to have you here today. Thank so we're you. talking about first time moms. And you're a first time mom. Yes. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure I know, I know your son and he's very handsome, as you have said. Yeah. Um, but I want to know your story first. How was your bringing like? Um, I, I grew up in a setup, a normal family setup, mm -hmm. a father, a mother, and siblings. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I grew up normally, just like a normal African yeah. child. Went to school, mm -hmm. went to high school, went to campus, and after that, got a job. And I grew up having a very good relationship with my parents. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. not to say that I was a perfect child. Yeah. At some point, of course, we had um, some issues with my mm -hmm. parents. Not big issues mm -hmm. but just normal mm -hmm. wrangles between children and parents yeah. but um all in all i'd say i grew up very well yeah. in a very stable environment and i thank god for that awesome yeah who are you closer to your mom or your dad as a child my dad uh -huh. but when now i'm a mother and yeah. i'm a wife You're right my mom You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me jump straight into the topic and yeah. ask you something very small mm -hmm. do you think that the way you mother your son now yeah. you are getting some not necessarily tips, but you're borrowing some things that you saw your mother do yeah. growing up yeah. now to mothering your son. I think so, yeah. because I think uh, your upbringing really has a lot of impact yes. on who you become mm -hmm. generally in life. And being a mom, I'm able to see what my mom was doing and understand why she was doing certain mm -hmm. things. like. I love cooking for my family, yeah. so I can't even wait for my son to start feeding so yeah. that I can just cook everything that I can for him. So yeah. that is maybe one thing, because my mom really used to cook for us mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. I looked forward to Saturdays when she was around and she could cook for us. So yeah. I'd say I'm borrowing some few tips here yeah. and there from her. And even I still call her and ask her, Mom, what should I do here? My son is doing this. What is happening? Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. How old is your son? My son is turning six months ah. in like three weeks, so he's five. Oh wow, currently. he's almost eating. He's almost eating. Almost starting <laughs> to eat. All the yeah. best with this phase. <laughs> um, did you ever dream about being a mother? I did. Uh -huh. I did. I was the kind of person who would play with other people's children okay. and just look at them and be like, wow, I wish one day I, c I could have a son mm -hmm. or a daughter, mm -hmm. my own, and yeah, yeah. just embrace them all the time. Mm -hmm. So I really looked forward to having a child. A child. Yeah. And so now the time came for you to get a, a husband. Yes. Where did you meet him? Where did you meet your husband? <laughs> okay, we met at work okay. and later met in church. Okay. So initially the first meeting was at work. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if you told me that I would end up marrying him, probably I'd say no. Yeah. <laughs> you know funny thing even me. <laughs> I'd say probably uh -huh. I would be like really no. Uh -huh. But God's work God works in miraculous yeah. ways and his plans are just way above mm -hmm. our thoughts and knowledge. Mm -hmm. So not that fast, but eventually, yes. You, you in geared box and you said yes. Yes. Again. And so <laughs> after how long in your marriage did you uh, find out that you were expected? It was four months in. Four months in. Yes. Were you wanting to have 
Yes, yes. it was very intentional. Okay. I was the kind of person who was like, I want to get married and get a child. Immediately. <laughs> In fact, I was telling him, we should leave honeymoon and come back home and get a and child. And get a baby. <laughs> That's how eager you are. Yes. Okay. And I, how, how did you feel when you found out? I think the first feeling uh -huh. is you start looking at your stomach. Yeah. And funny thing, it's, it's it doesn't true. happen immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I would just go to the mirror and look at myself and I'm like, oh, I'm pregnant, yeah. but I'm not showing. Yeah. So I'm wondering, do people know I'm pregnant? Yeah, there's that subconsciousness in your mind where you're like, I think people are looking, but yeah, not really. Not really, people, yeah. yeah. And um, maybe I'm at work, I'm telling myself, do they know I'm pregnant? Yeah. They shouldn't tell me to do that. <laughs> But it was, I was so excited, mm -hmm. I couldn't wait for my bum to show. Mm -hmm. I was just excited yeah. and my husband was so, so happy also to have. To have a baby yeah. on the way. Yeah. How was your pregnancy like? I actually had a really smooth pregnancy. Beautiful. I only vomited once. Mm -hmm. During didn't... your first trimester? No, the second. And okay. it was because I was given a medication that reacted with me. So, but nausea, just minimal, not mm -hmm. as much. Mm -hmm. It was really smooth. I was at work the whole time. I actually stopped working like two weeks to give him back. Wow, yes. you were on the grind until almost the Until last the second. end, yeah. yeah. So you only stayed for four months? Yes. Before getting married? Before getting pregnant. Before getting yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Um, was there a difference now when the baby was born mm -hmm. uh, between now the family <coughs> of three and the family of two? Did the dynamic change in your marriage? What, what did it change for you? I think the one thing that really stood out for me was our communication had to shift okay initially it was just like you know we're just communicating over normal things like i'm going to work on this mm -hmm. day for this and this reasons mm -hmm. to, on saturday we are going to do it this and this mm -hmm. but now we have to constantly communicate about the baby yeah because the baby has come and we have to talk about i think he needs a diaper change i think he needs to be fed i think he needs this yeah. so we had to really change how we are communicating about the baby because yeah. the baby is is, is our center, child yeah. is our child mm -hmm. so his father's opinion and my opinion Matters. matter mm -hmm. so we had to change how we communicate we had to like adjust and know that if my husband tells me this he means well yeah because especially when you're a first-time mom you have so many emotions going through yourself yeah. and everything so it's very easy for you to misinterpret what someone is saying mm -hmm. so i had to put myself out there and realize that my husband is saying it from a good point. Yeah. He wants the baby to stop crying. Yeah. So he's just trying to offer solutions. And this is new for the both of you. Yeah, yeah. even for him, it was it was just a shock. Especially when you come back home from hospital, it's it's a shock. Yes. Uh, for every mom, yeah. first time, it's just a shock. Mm -hmm. You're like, when I remember the night, um, now I'm leaving hospital tomorrow. So mm -hmm. I knew I was leaving hospital the next day. So the night to leave in the, the hospital, I was just waiting to go home. Then I got home, then I'm like, I think I want to go back to the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> like where the nurses will take care of my child. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have to think about it. But now I can't go back. It's your child. It's there my child. I have to take care of him. Yeah. And yeah, but I think for marriage, our communication had to shift to mm -hmm. uh, like, it's I'd say like the way you go to a higher class as you're ah, going to school. Because like marriage is a school. Mm -hmm. So you're in the first class, so you go to the next class. So we had to learn how to communicate better. Right. And I think it also brought more joy. Mm. I, I feel like most people make it look like a baby will come and ruin and your marriage. Yes. It's like a ruined yeah, marriage yeah, kind of yeah. thing. But it has made our love grow better mm -hmm. because now we have this project. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he is our project. Mm -hmm. We are working on towards making his life better, yes. towards instilling values in him mm -hmm. that we want him to grow mm -hmm. up with and yeah. everything. Yeah. I like what you've said about that it's like you view it as an upgrade yeah. in your marriage. Yeah. Because that's true. Very many people will think having a child and they talk about it. Even me and me and be like, mm. oh, once you get children, hey, your marriage Things are going change. to change. Yeah. And they're talking about it like it's, it's a, a bad, bad thing. thing yeah. But actually it's actually an upgrade. Yes. You're adding to your family. Yes. You're doing and what it's the a Bible says. Beautiful journey. Yeah. It's a beautiful journey. Yeah. You're actually doing mm. what the Bible says and it says multiply. Yes. Raise a godly offspring yes. for me. Yes. So that's amazing. Going back to your pregnancy, mm -hmm. I, when you're pregnant, of course, hormones, you yeah. go through a lot of hormonal yeah. changes. Was there any time that affected your marriage or like your mood <laughs> swings just any time, any day, anywhere? Um, I think there was just maybe one instance that comes to uh -huh. mind when you ask that. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, I'd say there's a time like, I don't know what my husband had done and 
I was just feeling like he's not understanding me. I feel like he doesn't understand. He, yeah. he, he will never get pregnant, so we will <laughs> never understand. Like it was, it, it just felt like he wasn't understanding yeah. me. But I also ca came to learn that for sure he will never get pregnant yeah. and I, I also need to extend grace to him mm -hmm. and understand that he won't think the way i'm thinking mm -hmm. or he won't he won't necessarily feel how i'm feeling mm -hmm. but if he's there to support me that's all that matters yeah yeah and because you're going through this together yeah it's, it's a child your first child yes. together so even the dad yes. is in a, a, in a new situation a yes new for sure how how did you as a mother mm -hmm. um and this is a bit off of the line of questions yeah how did you as a mother help him to cope with the new situation as yeah. well yeah okay i think encouraging him yeah. just telling him oh dad thank you now i call him dad yeah 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 oh yeah then even the names change <laughs> even the names change from babe to, to dad, dad to mommy. daddy <laughs> yeah so I, I i think i'd encourage him and mm -hmm. tell him daddy you're doing a good job mm -hmm. Thank you so much for providing for us. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we even take it for granted now because I had to leave work yeah. and now he's doing the provision. Yes. And you'll take it for granted and think this guy has been at work. He's not helping me with the baby at night and everything. But remember how it used to feel when you were going to work. Yeah. You still get tired. Yes. You're driving yeah. and everything. So I'd encourage him and tell him, thank you for providing for us. Thank you for taking care of Malakai. Thank you for everything that you're doing for us. Thank you. Just encouraging That's him. Beautiful. Yeah, I really like that. I'm personally learning as we go <laughs> along. Um, and then, um, so you encourage him as a father. Yes. Telling him all these compliments yeah. and all that. Mm. And that I think that's really beautiful. And also, uh -huh. sorry. Yes, go ahead. Praying for him. Yes. Praying for him. Mm -hmm. I, I think actually after I gave birth, I really used to pray a lot. Because every time the baby is not sleeping at night, I'd find myself praying. Mm -hmm. My baby, funny thing, sleeps when I speak in tongues. Wow. <laughs> that baby is Holy Ghost fire. He's Holy Ghost mm -hmm. fire. <laughs> so I would just speak in tongues and pray for my husband, pray for God to guide him mm -hmm. even. Because also the role of a father is quite a heavy role. It is because he's thinking that he needs to lead his son in a godly mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. to become the man that he wants him to be and what God wants to use this yes. man for. So it's also a heavy task on him. It so is. I'd really pray for him, pray for God's strength upon mm -hmm. his life and everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's this phrase that says, I think it's an African thing, yeah. where they say, Mtoto ni wa mama. Mm. Um, there are these new age uh, ladies mm -hmm. who are feminist mm. and they're like equality yeah. and if I wash the baby you must and if you're not washing the baby or changing diapers or da -da 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 -da, then there's a problem in our marriage. Yes. What would you say to such ladies who think that um, because you've said like your husband works yeah. and he's not there as much as you yes. are yes. for your son. Yes. What would you say to someone who is in that kind of mentality? I think generally whether we like to accept it or not marriage has roles yeah there are things that your husband can do yeah. that you can't for example you're together with your husband and the car needs a, a tire change why would you go and change the tire right. your husband is in the car right. so it's the same thing we 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 are built differently mm -hmm. women are different from men and mm -hmm. that's a fact mm -hmm. and there are things that i'm good at like women have a nurturing spirit not to say that men cannot nurture children, but there's just that instinct of a woman where sometimes I'll hold my son and he sleeps immediately. Yeah. And maybe the dad has been there telling him, oh, please, baby, sleep, sleep. Mm -hmm. But me, I'll hold him and, and he, he, he sleeps. Yeah. Because he's used to my smell, he's used to my scent, mm -hmm. he's used to my, you know, my hands right. and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd, I'd advise women to just understand like marriage is a two-way thing there mm -hmm. are things you can do there are things he can do better and there are things you can do better yeah just come to a common ground and support each other mm. in whatever way is possible probably when your husband is changing the tire you'll probably hold the door for him <laughs> or something yeah. Just support each yeah. other because marriage is about support it's about support yeah i like that yeah. i really like that mm -hmm. you should be a counselor somewhere <laughs> I'm wondering why you have not started. <laughs> um, so now as a first time mom, there's yes. all these, of course you become very attached to your baby. Yes. There's, I, I've not experienced it yet, mm -hmm. but I hear that there's normally a kind of love that you begin to have that you have never experienced before because this child has come from your womb. Yeah. Like there's this kind of love that you have towards this child that you've not 
experience mm-hmm. for any even even your husband like yes. it's a special kind of love yeah. so you become attached to your child and now even going to the shop without him is a problem yes <laughs> or going to the supermarket like it's a problem like you find mothers who for one holy how agenda mali bila mtoto wao like yeah. they all lose their child yeah. how do you, how do you deal with that first time anxiety wow it's <laughs> a good question <laughs> because i think i'm still attached okay. i'm still very attached but i think over time you you get to understand that life has to move on mm-hmm. and um and you just trust god because no one will take care of your child right. maybe it's a house help mm-hmm. they'll probably not take care of your child as much as well as you think they should yeah you'll always find that i know you should have done this instead mm-hmm. of doing this mm-hmm. maybe the baby was crying and you you chose to do something that maybe as a mother i felt like no you should have done this instead of this you just trust god that you know people whoever you leave your child the caregiver will will take care of the child in the best way possible mm-hmm. so long as probably they are not maybe you hold certain values and they are not breaching those values um say like for me secular music in my house is a no yeah and i say that to anyone who comes close to my son mm-hmm. because i don't want them to grow in that environment right. of secular music right. so if they go past that boundary then that's a problem mm-hmm. So I think for a mom you just need to trust God. Trust God. That's the only way yeah. you can get rid yeah. of the anxiety. Because you can't control everything. Yeah, you can't. You and you know at the end of the day the child will eventually go to school. Yeah. Go to maybe boarding school, get outside of the country mm-hmm. and you have to just trust God that he, he or she will be okay yeah. wherever they are. It's funny how motherhood <laughs> kind of um it it makes you realize that the things your mom was feeling yeah yeah and now, i, I uh, like i like to compare motherhood to um as much as it, it might not measure up mm-hmm. it's like god's love towards us yes because you your child you love your child so much mm-hmm. that you cannot whatever they do mm-hmm. you always love them trust me even the drunkard you'll find sleeping on the on the road the mother son. loves that son so so much and i like to compare it to the love of god because yeah. we 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 move away from god we sin we do things mm-hmm. but he always calls us back yeah. and he always embraces us with yeah. so much love and his love is everlasting yeah now for our faithful followers i'm sure we, you have watched an episode where we talked about house help and uh, if you haven't look for it on social media i'm sure you can find it and i want to know your opinion mm-hmm. on house help because a lot of mothers are skeptical yeah. very careful which is very understandable yes. because this is your child yes. you don't want to just let them yeah. you know go with anyone or be around just anyone yeah. how did you go about your house help situation um i actually got my house help when my son was a month old okay and i i prayed i prayed to god mm-hmm. and told god i want to get someone who first of all born again mm. is a non negotiable mm-hmm. for me mm-hmm. and it's not just born again thing born again real born Doing, again like yes. living yes yeah. living and i i i just found myself writing in my diary a set of questions that i asked every person that i mm-hmm. inter- i interviewed i interviewed like four of them and i would ask them do you go to church yes you know everyone will say they go yeah. to church everyone will say that then i asked them and which pastor someone told me i don't know my pastor I don't know my pastor's name. What do you mean? <laughs> how do you, how do you go to a church yeah, that, that you don't, don't know, know the pastor? <laughs> so I tell them, can I get their contact and talk to them because a the pastor can tell you yeah. this is a member of my church and they are this this and mm. this type of person. Mm. So that's how I went about it and I believe that God is the one who led who led me mm. in that direction. Mm-hmm. And so being a first time mom, mm-hmm. there's the future of your child. Yes. Um how are you preparing to of course right now they don't understand much at mm-hmm. five months yeah. uh but a time is coming when you'll start you know actively telling them about Jesus mm-hmm. and helping them to understand yeah. the Lord and the ways of the Lord yeah. and even investing in them socially yeah. giving them social uh uh prowess or like social education yes. how do you plan to go about educating your child or bringing up your child I think the first step as a married couple mm-hmm. is to have a set of values there we find ourselves discussing with my husband yeah. what would you like our son to yes. be like what do you want him to to know 
I find myself telling him, I would want him to know how to treat people well. Mm -hmm. You know, those set of values that you hold dearly as mm -hmm. a family, mm -hmm. first of all, identify them as, yeah. as a married couple. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, children learn more on, by seeing than by hearing. Yeah. So you probably you're a father somewhere who's drinking and you're telling your son, don't drink, but you drink. Yeah. So they see you drinking and they're going to drink. Yeah. So us living what we are talking about. Right. If we're talking about God, are we living, you know, yeah. being an example mm -hmm. is like the best way, yeah. is one of the ways that I plan to do. Yeah. I've even started reading more because I want them to read. Yeah. So that when I'm telling them to read, they have like a reference. Yeah. My mom reads. Yeah. 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 And tying to that, mm -hmm. uh, very briefly, yeah. we want, I want to ask you about supporting your child. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they'll grow up and they'll want to be something. Yes. They'll want to be a, a, either a pilot or want to go into arts. Yeah. Do you intend on supporting them or do you want them to become an engineer, doctor, no, lawyer? No, 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 uh -huh. no. I want my child to live in purpose. Yes. Whatever God has called them yeah. to be, music, whatever. That is what they're going to mm -hmm. do, and I'm going to support them fully. Amen. We are going to support Amen. them fully. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. Supporting your children is, is one of the best gifts yeah. you can give to them. Yeah. I have personally experienced I it. I can imagine. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the best things you can you can do for your kids. Now, I want you to talk to any first-time mom out there who is mm -hmm. struggling. Yeah. You know, not only, not everyone has uh, the support that yes. you've had. Yes. Not everyone has a husband, a caring husband, yes. like you, or any husband at mm -hmm. all. Or maybe they got pregnant and the guy just left. Yes. What kind of advice would you give a first-time mom who doesn't necessarily have support, but they have this child and they now have this responsibility? Mm -hmm. What kind of advice would you give them? Wow, that's a very good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, as much as maybe you don't have a spouse or anything, I believe you'll always have a friend. Yeah or a mom mm. or a sister like you cannot tell me you live in this world alone get support as much as you can and probably you're wondering how you're going to raise this child by yourself trust god mm. because god is the one who brings up these yeah. children yeah. he provides for them i have seen god providing for my son yeah. he ensures that these children grow up well you see sometimes you see street children and they're very healthy yeah. and you wonder what does this child eat? Because God provides for yeah. them. Every day there will be a good Samaritan who will provide for mm. those children. Mm. So just trust God. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. Mm -hmm. Pray for your child. Mm -hmm. Pray that God will lead you mm. in, in, you know, in the direction that he wants you to yeah. take. Because sometimes things can really get difficult. Yeah. And maybe you're going through anxiety, you're going through mm. postpartum depression, which is real. Take things easy. And one thing that leads to depression is being overly tired or yeah. being overwhelmed. I used to hear people say, sleep when the baby sleeps. And I thought it was a joke. Let me tell you, I slept. When my baby would sleep, I would just sleep yeah. very fast. Yeah. Because if I'm overly tired, then when the baby cries, it, ag it, it agitates me even more. So rest, mm -hmm. have support from whoever you're going to get and just trust god yeah, pray yeah and if you need maybe I, another thing that maybe you can reach out to other moms mm -hmm. who have gone through it recently yeah get a like a support group mm. i'm sure you know someone somewhere who, who someone? has yes yeah. so get some support from other moms mm -hmm. because talking about it makes you realize oh Kumbe, it's not just me. Kumbe, my baby is not the only one who cries at night. Yeah. Other babies cry. Yeah. So it encourages you. And yeah. then it will pass. It will pass. It will like pass. This day, the babies grow up so yes, quickly. Yes, so fast. Yeah. So fast. And then finally, mm -hmm. as a, as a first-time mom, especially as a first-time mom, yeah. Um, how 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 would you want the public to come in, or mm -hmm. like your friends and your family yeah. to come in to support you? Because yeah. there are so many women yeah. who know, who think they know. Yes. Unajawali wana kujakukwambia. Ah, si chikem to try Or like giving you unsolicited advice. advice yeah. You know yeah. how do you do, how do you deal with such people? Yeah. And how what is the best way to offer you support or advice? I, 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 you, you've asked me that and I remember the lady who would come home <coughs> when, I, when my son was very young mm -hmm. and she'd help me wash the baby. Mm -hmm. It meant wow. so much, mm -hmm. so much. Because thinking of washing a small baby as a first time mom is stress. Yeah. 
you're, you're looking at that shell, you're wondering, how will I put them in water? Mm. They're so small. But she's a, she's a nurse, so mm. she'd just come, pick the baby, wash the baby, show me how to wash the baby. Because in hospital you're shown, but it's just maybe one, two days, yeah. and then they leave you. So they, she showed me how to wash the baby, how to massage the baby, mm. and she'd even um, make, ensure the baby is sleeping. Wow. I remember the first time she came, she washed him, and my son slept for four hours wow. for the first time. <laughs> I was even waking him up because I was wondering, is he still asleep or is, is, he, he, is okay? he okay? <laughs> so, small things like that. Yeah. If you're in a position to go help someone wash the baby, let them shower. Mm. Allow them to shower. Uh, give them some time uh, away from the baby. Hold the baby for them. If maybe the baby is maybe formula fed or mm -hmm. drinking breast mm -hmm. milk, you can even feed the baby yourself. Yeah. Let her have even one some hour, 30 for minutes herself. for herself. Yeah. And now if you want to give her advice that you think maybe is necessary, that she needs to know, it's how you put it. Yeah. It's the tone you use. Yeah. It's it's how you, you know, there, there's a way I'll tell you, Sheila, uh, I think probably if you check his diaper, maybe it's wet. Yeah. But there's a way I'll tell you, you've not checked his diaper. You no, know. I told you can you not find uh, mm -hmm. And the worst thing you can tell her first time mom is tell her that had you Kenya Because mm -hmm. she's asking herself that right. question. Do I am I, I doing the right thing? thing. Mm -hmm. And now affirming that thought makes her even go into depression. True. So be careful how you yeah. use your words and the tones yeah. that you use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. June, thank you so much. Unfortunately our time is up. But it has been <laughs> such a pleasure, such a delight to host you. Thank you so much for coming and educating us and speaking with us about this topic. Thank you. And so that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I have been your host, Sheila Juma, and I'll see you same time, same place. Have a great rest of your week. Baraka.